Hey everyone, Lensmanos here and welcome to another first look game. This time it's Learning Factory by Luden.io. Um, you may remember, I'm pretty sure I did a video a while back on a game called Wild True Learn. Um, it's, it's a, that was a programming based game. This is sort of the same sort of lines. It's, um, it's a logic based uh, game and um, yeah, you'll 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 see how it works. Uh, so it, something to do with machine learning. It, it uses machine learning to 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 help you through making a a factory. Uh, right. So as I said, developed by Luden.io. It was published by Nival, I believe. Nival. Uh, it came out on the eighteenth of February, twenty twenty one, and the devs were very gracious to give me a key to show you guys what it looks like. So let's hit new campaign. Here we go. Uh, I believe Luden.io really likes cats too. What do you want? If only I knew myself. Yeah, making some sort of tool to see what the cat wants. How to the cubic sinusoidal function? Okay. <laughs> Dr. Cat's period. Nice. Okay. Okay. Cotavod Learning Factory Ruins. These piles of mangled garbage is all that remains of the great Cotavod Learning Factory. It was constructed back in the Union era for, for studying cats, but now it is desolated. The only thing that seems to be kind of working is a store. Don't just stand there, use WASD to move around, and a mouse wheel for camera drone zooming. You must stop reading this note now and get to work, comrade engineer. Alright, to start sales. Place a yarn ball into empty slot on the fixed price store display. Find some yarn balls on the map. So here's one. Okay. Oh, there's a cat. There's cats. Let's get some yarn balls. New kind of cat is spotted visiting the factory. We've got all these things lying around here. I can obviously just, it's range of motion click. Oof. Got a good reach on him. Okay, so what seems to be happening is I can now pick up all sorts of stuff. Okay, uh, here, let's, okay. Uh, yarn ball, let's take a yarn ball and put it here. And its price is one, one coin. Place yarn ball in empty slot on the fixed price stores display. Done that. Demand for a new kind of item detected. Okay, let's pick up these things. Cotton collected debris. Okay, craft a transporter in the construction, E or I, and build it. You can press R to rotate transporter. So, E, okay. Craft. Made a couple of transporters, okay. Made two. Follow the optic cable and dig up the Sphinx by holding right mouse button, or G. This is the optic cable. Collect everything while we're walking, right? Because I'm sure it's going to come in handy. Uh, a Sphinx. Okay, so push right mouse button on. Hello, a cat. Uh, okay. At last, you has arrived. We can finally do it. This place has been created to solve the mysteries of cats. Now we only need millions of data and complicated machinery to work. Okay, open the monument, so T, and research cotton collector, funding it with money from sales in the fixed price store. Uh, so cotton collector research. So I don't know how much how much monies we've got. I need to go and put some more. 
Okay. Craft a cotton collector and build it near a cotton plant. You can rotate buildings for pushing R. So can I can I get rid of this? Oh, okay. Right click and hold it down. Uh, so E, production. We need three metal and seven wood. Ooh, I can right click on stuff and pick them up. Okay, should be enough. Ooh, get iron out of that. Okay, so E again. Making a cotton collector. Okay. Cat requests and stock of goods. In time, you'll notice different types of cats coming to your stores. They will request different types and amounts of goods. It is your duty to fulfill their desires, comrade engineer. Keep track of your stock at all times or prepare to face the consequences. You can use building categories in the lower left corner of your screen for faster navigation and more efficient production. It looks like our yarn ball maker is actually working. Research loom in the monument. Okay, produces the finest pieces of cloth on this planet. Okay, so we're producing the, the loom. Okay, build a loom and connect it to cotton collector. So that's like this guy making yarn balls. Okay. Oh, we've got different cats here, I guess. Oops, I just hurt the cat. the cat. Let's zoom in. So this one wants Okay, they want cloth and and okay. So that's what we need to do. So we've got demand, so we kind of do we have like a splitter? This transporter. Okay, so do we need to build another cotton collector? Is that possible? Build another one of them. I'm gonna place him Yeah. And then what I'm hoping is that I can build a loom. So three metal, four wood. Okay, let's get a bit of that. Got that metal. And then we had that metal thing over here, right? Okay. A loom. I'm also going to need... few of them. Okay, let's build some of these and we will go R. Ah. Okay, let's get rid of this stuff. I want a bit of loom. Okay. Apparently I've finished the introductory course to Kotovod Factory and choose my own way to raise the glory of Kotovod. You're also now qualified to participate in our Elite Engineer program. Simply share a 10 minute or longer recording of a gameplay to modelize your name in the game's credits. Well, this video is going up on YouTube. <laughs> there you go. I'll share that video later. There. Anyway, let's build some more of these guys. Because I want to go to what here? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to need to. Oops. Need to make a few more of them. Hoping I can just do that. Seems like it. Alright, so we now have cloth coming in. Hey, what else do we need? Let's let's actually like research the yarn ball maker because that would be, be smart, I think. Ooh, splitter. Interesting. Can even split a cat line. Manipulator. Rowing cotton plant. Drone. Okay, so we got other things. So the drill will extract metal from iron veins. The rope maker. Floor sharpener. A lumber mill. Get wood. Okay. So we've now got things happening. I want whatever that thing is. Cloth. Okay, we're getting some things happening. Floor sharpener. Okay. Research and build cat store to unlock price setting. 
or his cat stool. There. Capitalism at work. Build up more stores. Build more stores to earn more money and speed up research. Okay. So I guess we need to... What do we got now? Problem reports. Unhappy cats. Uh, scientific articles written? What? Worker cats attended? Okay, cloth there. So there's lots of stats. So it's a very much a statistics game. I think we've kind of worked that one out. Okay, so we're eventually going to need, I guess, to build things that they want. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Okay, so we need to research the claw sharpen a maker because that's what some of them want looks like rope and all sorts of stuff so let's build a drill let's research the drill it's going to take a take some coins how to stock on the oh are you just slow or yeah just really slow i don't know how to slow this down for you rope or something i guess the idea here is to start making as many of these as possible and um, start producing all the items and run them through the store or build more stores i don't think i can build more stores yet we have to do this one but even like grabs items from transport storages and build them and gently moves them around even move cats they don't mind so what you could do i guess is if you only want cats that want yarn balls and cloth you bring them through this store and then you'd have another store and you run the metals and the, the other things through it there's got to be things to make these faster i don't know take them i just assume that you know Neither of these is getting that back part. Okay. Interesting. Righty ho. Let's see what else we can do. So we've got more research to do. We can now make the loom and that. Okay, we need the lumber mill. So the drill, let's see if we can build a drill. What do you need? 20 metal. Okay. The drill is now doing its thing. Crafting a hundred. Do I just get like a hundred at a time or can I... Can I like do this? So I could probably get a hundred faster than it gets a hundred. Yep. <laughs> wow, okay. Research is completed into the the lumber mill. Let's build one. Then we're going to need an area where trees are. Probably pick all this stuff up too, right? I'm going to split it down here and a manipulator. We've got some. Take all that. Thanks. I'm not sure what else is around here. Oh, a lumber mill. Withered trees. Take the lumber mill. A rover. Okay. It's around. There you go. There's more areas down here for cotton, so we could build more cotton plants. Uh, more extractors and pump more and more items through um, and if you have a look at some of the images on the steam page you'll see just some of the factories that the people are making with this stuff so what i kind of want that drills made 
Really? You made how many metal? Just like 20. I can I can mine by hand quicker than, than you can mine it. Anyway. Uh, so I still want too many cats. Can I slow you down? Let's, you know, make another one of these guys. And get him going. And then we'll make. Oh, I can do right mouse button to do fives. Nice. Nifty little animations too. I like the look of the game. Chewing through, look at it. Taking all the cotton, turning it into the uh, cotton packs. Hopefully these guys are going speedy. I wonder if I can make them faster. Like, let's research the cat store. And I really need to go through and find some of the things that they want. Wow, look at some awesome triple splitter. Not terraform yet. There's upgrades. Now that's just the drone upgrade. Okay, so how are we going with our research? Research is chewing along. Research seems fairly cheap, if that makes sense. We're out of stock of everything. Getting the occasional the occasional order. Sometimes there's just nothing. Alright, so... Let's look in production. I want to make another store. Which I can now. Okay. So we can have multiple stores. And then I'm assuming we need to connect the data up. Because if you don't have the data, what's the point? Yeah, assuming they want as much data as possible. And then we can, you know, redirect cats that only want... We need to find out what sort of cat wants like only these two items maybe we need to make more of these i think there's lots of potential here for some kind of item detector this is square box thing oops people want wood as well like we're getting all sorts of cats okay so this cat can we tell what sort of cat wants what? Is that is that the next level? So if we say wholesale cats, what do you want? If we go yarn balls requested. So we're weaving less than we uh offering so what we kind of need to be doing is bulking this line up with a whole bunch of these yarn ball makers so whether that's making a couple of them and then do we need to research splitters i think we do let's do splitters because uh, then I, what i can do is do like this and then Make some more of these guys. Right, and then we split. Like, maybe.
wir hier. Ja. I need a <laughs> heaps more metal, right? Uh, get some more belts. What I'm thinking is we split again. Once I know how to make a splitter. Yep, we make it. One of these, please. Now let's put the splitter in. Can you? Can I, there we go. It's just in the way. Okay. So there we have triple the amount of yarn balls being produced. So hopefully, I mean, if we go back to this statistics, we should be able to start seeing this start peaking up in terms of um, yarn balls weaved, weaven, weaved, <laughs> made, made. We'll go with made. So yarn balls being made has tripled, you know, what if you hit normalize? No, no, not that. Uh, so we've got 12 problem reports. We've got lots of unhappy cats. Normie cats, apparently. Low sales on this one. So we've, yeah, we've tripled our output, which has then stopped the cloth going in, but that's okay. Um, what I could probably do there is do this, so it's got its own belt in. And then once this has enough space to move in, this will move in. Or I just do that. There we go. And, you know, people want cotton packs as well, so I guess we then start looking into which cat wants what. They just yeah, they, they want different things, don't they? One with a little bag around him. So what we need to determine is the ones that that don't want those cotton balls and stuff. There is no point in them going into this store. So like these builder cats, the worker cats. Worker cats want raw materials, correct? Yes. So let's get our manipulator. No, I want to rotate the manipulator, please. And we're going to tell it. How do we how do we configure the manipulator? Oh, I broke it. Sorry, worker cat. Uh, how do I adjust you? Um, I'm not sure what it's. There's no filter on it, right? Is that something we need to research? Let's have a look. I probably need to research this guy. Cat sorter. Ah, that's next. Separates cat line by cat types for higher quality service. Fantastic. I want one of them, please. Science lab. Need these papers to research more advanced stuff. Do these things need papers or are they just all monies? Monies? Um, I'm going to go cat sorter next. Go. It's 50. But I, I think this is, this is worthwhile. And then in this one here we can start with like putting metal and, and maybe wood in here. And we can run... Transporter belt. Oh, I need some more. Transporter belts. In. And that will get the metal. And then we want uh, a lumber mill. Okay, we've got apple trees here. I mean, we can do that. We can do the lumber mill. There. And what's cool with this is it doesn't require any power. You? Hello? Uh, no, there. Let's 
still need more. Always need more, right? Let's get these transporters into here. Okay, so we've got, we've got metal and wood going into this store. We've got data, so they'll be able to track the sales. And then we just need that cat sorter doobie whacker thing. This one. Apparently it costs a lot more. At least one science lab is not getting data from... Oh, okay. I need to make science labs, do I? To pay the scientists. Sell more items in stores. I haven't... Is there a science lab? Is that what's out here? Yes, we've got a science lab here. Little workspace for a big scientific breakthrough. So store your cat researchers in the first science lab. It's just Dr. Cats. Don't forget to hire researchers for subsequent lab. Working on scientific papers, pushing your researchers forward. Work is funded with profits generated by your cat stores. Okay, so currently writing an article it costs two. Two coins for an article. Um, and as soon as we get money, he gets paid and he makes the article. I get it. I get it. That's an info stand, apparently. Let's get rid of the metal debris. We can probably... I mean, ideally, we would go and um, make more science labs. Because that's going to take him a while. Okay. I'd like to clean up all this mess, honestly. Boop. Gone. Okay, yarn makers are still slow. Maybe we can split it again and try and get lots more out of this, but things are happening. Yarn balls are, are going well, and then we need to get the worker cats down into here. So when he eventually finishes this, I don't know if there's a speed up button. Let's go and have a quick look around the island while we wait, just so you guys get an idea of how much space you've got to work in. Looking at the map here, you've, you, you know, we're fairly much in the center of the whole map, and I guess as you walk around, there's, there's different areas where you can have things planted and and, and mining and etc. Lots of trees here, lots of metal sources you could put mines on and yeah, metal metal source. Yeah, cool. So definitely, um, I don't know what this is. We'll go down and have a look. Definitely some room to spare and room to, to build out. Just water. Just really dark blue water for some reason. Alrighty. Well, I think I'm going to wrap up here. So if you're into, uh, a, you know, machine learning and and kind of programming games, but this, like, this is more on the side of uh, resource management and... Um, strategy so you want to build your factory the way you you know you can and then using data to to move items around and and fulfill the contracts correctly uh, very much just not a shove everything through one thing and, and go for go for broke um but yeah if you like the look of the game it's available on steam now for 21 dollars 50 australian um as I said, the, the, the other game, Wild True Learn, is out there as well. You can buy it as a bundle, apparently. I don't know what the cost on that one is. Um, don't, don't zoom on the Steam page while you're, while you're playing the game. Look, hey. Um, but yeah, go and check out the link below. And I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.